Just before the video starts, just want to let you guys know that I've started a Discord server, the link will be in the description. Hello everyone, Big Man here. So, today we're going to be uh, working on the Mangusta a bit more. Uh, as you can see, also in my spare time I have just started working on something which I'm definitely going to change. I don't like the way this looks, but I like the idea of it being kind of something we go into. But... Yeah, today we're going to be working on the Bangusta, and we're going to be essentially moving the rear turret to a front turret, and we're possibly going to put some missiles on it. So let's get into it. So here we have the Mangusta. First things first, let's get rid of these and these, because we are not going to need these anymore. We're going to get rid of all these. Well, we're essentially just going to be redoing most of the boat. So first things first, I think we need the turret ring because that's the smallest turret ring that you can actually fit the control handle in. The only concern I have about this is what is this going to do to our visibility at the front? Because ideally it wouldn't do much to it, but if it does, that's going to be an issue. There we go. Hopefully that uh, solvers and sol solvers? <laughs> solves an issue. You know, I just moved this boat over to the side so that I could jump directly onto it and then I just fell off uh, the side. Oh, and there's lightning. Hey, that's pretty good. I've actually got decent sight. Okay, so next thing's next, I think we'll add a, add a couple guns, and oh my goodness, this is buggy. Alright, so our first test of today is, uh, can this fire? It can. Can we see well, though? Probably not well enough. I, can we rotate? No, we cannot. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, so we need to actually raise this a bit. Oh, gosh. You know what, let's, let's get rid of this. Okay, now before you guys say anything, I just want you to consider that this is a good idea because it has solved all the problems, but I mean like... <laughs> what am I doing? It's got automatic limiters, aka, like, physic, physical limiters, 360 degrees, we can go full vertical if need be. You know, I would, I would call this an absolute win. Yeah, uh, so next thing's next, I think we'll be sorting out the laser, adding a light. I actually really like that. So, um, let's add some features to this. Okay, so we got a one, two, which is good. So if it's nighttime, you know, we can turn a laser on and shine the light and we can blast stuff. Yeah, that's a good, a that's actually a really good little turret. Uh, it's not going to be able to have a stabilizer, unfortunately. Uh, but that's just that's just part of the design at the moment. Honestly, other than what we've got, I think this is good. Let's save this as Mark II. Now I think what we need to do, firstly, let's get rid of these lights here. I think we could probably invest in some missiles. What I might actually do is, uh, I might add some rocket pods that can be controlled directly from our helm. So that if need be, you know, if we have, like, helicopters or something, we can take care of them. Okay, my game just crashed, uh, so... Oh goodness, um, I hope we haven't lost what we've done. Did it auto-save what I had? No, it didn't. Okay, well, I think actually let's just leave the rockets for now. But I think now we should probably consider an area that goes down into what I'm guessing will be kind of our living area. Because, I mean, we don't really have much space for a living area. I mean, maybe we do actually. Let's, uh, I think since we can, we might as well add the bed slightly elevated blocks there and just create a bit of a bedroom. I think we should be fine. Uh, maybe we'll add some, let's get some general gear that we may use. So for example, let's keep our weapons and our equipment separate. We may at some point need an extra flashlight. So let's put that there. Remote control unit, we don't at the moment. Oxygen masks, incredibly useful. Night vision binoculars, we could use a pair of those. What else? first aid kit. Now engine access is going to be difficult so I think we'll probably just end up putting a hatch in the back here. I've also just given us some desk, <laughs> uh, desk space so that uh, if we need we can just put some maybe I don't know some radar or weapons control or stuff like that. Uh, we can access our turrets. We put our power on. We can access our turret. Um, use it properly and then we can come down here to our bed. Gonna have to crouch to get through, but that's okay. And yeah. Okay, now we're probably gonna have a uh, a weapons cupboard right here. 
just lands back and let's get some weapons. So we need C4, I think three pieces of C4 and then a detonator. What else do we need possibly? And we'll get some rifle ammunition. Um, I don't think we need a spear gun quite at the moment. I think, I don't, I don't know if MiGs are enabled. If they are, I don't think they're going to be much of an issue. There we go, we've got uh, two sets of six flares each. Let's go into our top piece. So we've got one's free, two's free, three is not, four is not, five is not, six, five is, six is not. Make one chaff and we'll just do launch, pass through. If they don't need, el if they don't need electricity, that is good. Let's go for a test drive. It does appear that we are slightly yawing a bit, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell with the autocannon, but if we are, we can always fix that. Turn around. Well, um, I think, I think for now, let's just go, let's just go paint this thing. What do we want? You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking grey with a couple accent colours. I just don't know what that's going to be. So let's, let's paint this in like a, maybe a gunmetal grey. That doesn't look too bad. But I, I think that actually looks very nice. Um, so what we're going to do now is maybe what what's a nice color this is the first time i've used grid lines in probably a year don't judge me oh oh yes i've got an idea and it's called giving this thing teeth okay definitely it looks better without the gold trim in terms of the lips but the rest of it looks really good that actually look that doesn't look too bad obviously this is it doesn't look great but that's mostly because it's lacking the detail but actually, if you look at it from what it is at the moment, this looks pretty good. Yellow and black, the guards at the sides. Yeah, that actually looks really nice. That actually looks really nice. Just gone and added some floorboards just to make it look a bit nicer. Back section, we're going to do a bit of detailing as well. So we'll just put a slight darker rim around the back. The only other thing I can think of doing is by painting the bottom um, where we want the water line to be. So let's see how it sits in the water uh, at an angle um if we weigh the bottom down ideally it'll sit with the jaw just poking out of the water so let's aim for that considering how basic this is this is pretty good i mean the mouth sits right out of the water when we're going at speed which is really nice well everyone uh thank you for watching we've made quite a bit of progress today i'm still not 100% sure what I think about this little green accent on the turret, um, but the other color I quite like. Uh, let me know what you think we should add onto the Mangosta um, in the next episodes. Um, but the next episode itself, we will be modifying this a bit, but just to assist it with being carried by the boat cradle that we're going to be making. Um, so, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.